the market jumps around but closes basically flat. What happens next? This is Invest with Jacob. Okay, guys, so in yesterday's video, we talked about the fact that there was the potential for more downside in this market, and the market tried to deliver on that before failing and closing basically flat on the day. So now the question is, where do we go from here? I'll get into that in just one second, but first, if you're new here, welcome to the show, guys. My name is Jacob Gabbard, and this is Invest with Jacob, where we use Elliott Wave Theory to break down the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ. Highly encourage you to hit that subscribe button down below so that you can get our daily S&P updates, our trade setups, and our buy alerts. All right, guys, before we jump into the chart, I want to go over the performance of the indicator I've created as well as a question that I got in the comments. So let's jump into that chart. As you can see here, the first three bars to the, the, the day were strongly down. We did not get a sell signal because of how the indicator works, but that's neither here nor there. We get a buy signal on the bounce. And this buy signal, even if you got stopped out on this five-minute bar here, which is a pretty big pullback bar for day trading, you still had $1.50 of upside on that trade, which is a really, really nice day trade, especially when you're trading options like we are. If you didn't get stopped out, you got about two fifty of upside until you saw your sell signal. And then you sell the market here, you get a little bit of chop, and then they drop another $2 to the downside, and you get another big winning trade. Now, one of the rules I generally trade by is I don't trade the second half of the day because the market tends to be choppy. Uh, the... Uh, time decay is very strong and you get um, much more risky trades in the second half of the day. So I tend to stay out of the market after about 10 o'clock Pacific Standard Time and not trade the second half of the day. So um, you can trade the second half of the day. There was another winning long trade here and then a bunch of chop that didn't really do anything. But again, you got a nice big winning buy trade and sell trade on the indicator. And one of the questions I got was, if the indicator so good, show us a big picture view to confirm trend. I am happy to do that because the big picture is where you get your swing trades. We use the weekly. So we go down to the one week chart. And um, as you look here, I'm going to put the stops on because on the weekly chart, trading is a little different. And the reason it's a little different is once you get a stop, so we get this move up and then you get a sell signal. So this is off of a low. Once you get this stop, this is a strong indication of continuation in the market. So you can continue being long again in the market. Then you get another sell signal here. This sell was pretty darn amazing. It gave you a sell signal up here around 446, all the way down to 409. So that's a pretty dang strong sell move. Gave you a buy on the second week after that. And this buy is absolutely insane. You get the buy all the way down here at 435. It runs all the way up to 524. So 100 spy points. Uh, 518, I should say. Then you get the uh, sell here. You don't get any kind of stop, so you do end up winning out on this sell trade here. When you do get your sell stop, it's way up here, okay? And that indicates, again, strong continuation of the trend. So if you would have got long here, you would have had this whole area of long to catch up. It gave you another sell signal here that was very successful. When you got your sell stop on this week, it gave you continuation. Uh, sell stop continuation and so on. So it's been a little choppy the last few weeks, but so is the market. That's kind of how it goes. Uh, but it catches the trend early on, and that's the important factor. Losing a few weeks up here, no big deal when you catch this move down here for that amount. You catch this move here for that amount. You get the continuations on the way up. So the longer term picture, this sell here is pretty good. Um, this sell here turns into a continuation. So you get that bull run. This buy here is pretty good. So there's a lot of big, big winning trades, and you get in early on these um, trends, and you know where you're at, and you can feel comfortable because you get the stops, and the stops tell you about continuation. So that's kind of how the indicator works. We look at it all the time. I want you to see that it's not a one-day wonder, that it is working consistently over time, and you're getting these setups. So if you are interested in that, it will be available soon. I am putting some changes into it that get rid of a little bit of the chop and the trades that make them a little more accurate. Once those changes are done and I'm happy with it, I will release it. You will have information on how to get it. For now, let's jump into the chart and take a look. Okay, guys, so here we are on the one-hour futures chart of the S&P 500, and um, not a lot has changed, so it's going to be fairly repetitive for now. We are contemplating whether this is a one-two setup, and you have one of three, two of three, and then we're looking for a breakout. That breakout will occur if, one, they can hold 57.12, and two, move back over the high here at 58.15. And we would look for that run to be to 56, or I'm sorry, 6,024 in a more direct manner. 
So holding 57.12, breaking out over 58.15 would be a very strong indication. We're well on our way to the 6,000 area. To the downside, we'd be looking at this as a bigger wave one, and then like an A, B, C down into the um, 6,000, I'm sorry, 5,600 to 5,560 area, and then up from there and continuation, again looking for that uh, 6,000 plus area. Both of these up moves would target the same area, which is going to be around 61.73 to 62.40. Just the initial move on that breakout would target 60.24. Then we'd look for a small pullback and then continuation. So 61.73, 62.40 are the targets we're looking for. Um, and both of these moves target that same area, just depending on whether it's going to be more directly or we get a bigger pullback first. The bearish count, if there is one, and there always is one. This was wave five of the bigger pattern to 58.50 that we talked about. They got to about 58.30, which was a little bit short. Um, I still would have liked to seen them make one more high. And in that case, I would still would like to see them make one more high um, to complete this pattern overall. But in any case, if we break below 55.60 and start to really push down, that is a strong indication of a bigger pullback, weakness in the market, and potentially a much, much bigger correction depending on how it plays out from there. So 55.60 is the key level to the downside for the bulls um, to get a warning shot and the bears to start taking control above that and the market pressure remains up. Over on the NASDAQ. Okay, so on the NASDAQ, um, a little bit different. We talk about this each time. The NASDAQ's weaker. It's farther below its moving uh, all-time high. It barely peaked out here and it was held at 7.64 and pushed down. So the NASDAQ does still have the potential to be more bearish than the ES because the ES has made all-time highs, whereas the NASDAQ's been lagging quite a bit. Um, one idea there is if we are going to all-time highs, I'd be playing the NASDAQ first because it should outperform in order to catch up to the ES, just as an FYI on that. But the counts are going to be very similar. We're looking at this as a potential one, two, one, two breakout where three would target about 21.5, pull back in four, and then five would be about that 22,000 area. Or potentially this could be a bigger wave one. If this is a bigger wave one, we'd look for a wave two down to that 19.2 to 19.5 area. And then we might be targeting closer to 23,000. This 22,700 area might be the target a little bit higher because of the size of wave one here. If this is a full wave one, that would be a, a little bit bigger than you would anticipate in this spot. So I don't love that idea, but the market is setting up for that kind of move. So I would be... Uh, very much on the lookout for that if we drop lower now as long as they stay above 19783 the immediate breakout is still live so again that was the one two one two breakout pattern but they got to stay above 19783 to keep that one live for the bigger breakdown this is potential a b and then we'd be starting c down this is not my favorite structure for a c wave um this would be one of one of C, and then you look for two, three, four, five to create a one of C. Then you'd look for a breakdown like that. They need to break below 19,000 to really bring that into the forefront. Uh, otherwise, with the ES bullish count uh, and the potential bullish setup here, the bulls are in control until they break 19,000. Guys, if you like the information I put out in these videos and you want real-time market updates from me, you need to check out investwithjacob.com. There's a link down in the description. Go ahead and click that link. It'll take you right over to our webpage once you're there. Check out our membership plans area. We have two incredible monthly plans, and they both come with a seven-day free trial because I want you to get in there. I want you to make sure you love it, become part of our trading team, and make sure it's for you before you ever spend a penny. You can cancel at any time, and you literally have nothing to lose by just checking us out. You don't have to trade anything. You can just watch the room for a week. We also have our educational material. We have our Elliott Wave 4 Beginners Online course as well as our Advanced Elliott Wave courses. These courses are helping traders understand this complex market in a way that finally makes sense. They can trade it and use it and understand it. In our advanced course, we go over very complex patterns like fib levels, diagonals, double and triple threes, flats, triangles, all these things that are a little less common, but when they play out are super confusing. We also go through how to trade Elliott Wave, which people really struggle with. As you can see on the screen, this is helping our traders understand these complex patterns that we've been facing for the last few months to a year. And... They are making money using this course. Now, if this is too advanced or you're looking to just get started in Elliott Wave, we have our Elliott Wave for Beginners online course. And that course is helping real traders make real money 
and finally understand this market in a way that makes sense. It is very confusing when good news makes the market go down and bad news makes the market go up. That's because Elliot knew that the news cycles were garbage long ago. This is, can be illustrated with the Russian-Ukraine war where we made a low that day and rallied hard. Yesterday we had a conflict with Israel and Iran and the market went basically sideways. It didn't care about war. None of that stuff matters to the market. The market's going to do what it needs to do and wants to do and none of the other stuff is going to stop it and Elliot knew that long ago. Now this course is 25 videos where we go through three different sections. Your introduction to Elliot Wave Theory so you can understand what it is, how to use it, get your mindset right, get the KISS method down. Your chart setup and tools, every tool you need to use with Elliott Wave Theory and why and how we use it, as well as the Elliott Wave for Beginners area, where we go through each of the waves, how to measure them, how to understand if they're working, how to get these key levels that we know so well, and how to use things like the theory of alternation, the pivot, all the stuff that gives you an understanding of this complex market. The cool thing about both of these courses is if you want to get them at a discount, you can buy them both together for $37 off. Or if you want to get them for free, simply join one of our monthly rooms as they are included in that price. In our first room, the Invest with Jacob room, you get all of my real-time market updates, all of my buy and sell alerts, all of your Elliott Wave questions answered. A midday video where I answer all of your questions, go through all of the charts you give to me, go through the big picture, go through everything we're looking at in the charts to make sure the counts are where we think they are, and make sure everybody's on the same page. We also have the training material you just saw. We trade the SPY and the QQQ, and we swing and day trade. So we do trade quite often in my room. Now, if you're looking for futures trading, individual stocks, income trading, and advanced trading, you need to check out PT's throne room. In there, you get everything you get in the Invest with Jacob room, as well as individual stocks, futures trading, income trading that just crushes the market, as well as his reduced risk binary method that gets you in at a cheap price and gets you big multiples on your money. And it's how he structures those trades. It's so unique. Something you really have to see to understand. And that's another reason he gives you that seven day free trial. We also started a challenge account, put $4,000 into an account trading mini ES futures, showing you how to build a small account into a large retirement or savings account. Guys, we'd love to have you in these rooms so we can all make money together. Key takeaways for today, we're watching 5712. As long as 5712 holds, the bulls can push higher directly. They would want to push over 5815. And in that case, we'd be starting to look towards the 6000 area more directly. If they're breaking down below 5712, 5600 to 5560 becomes the next two levels to watch. Over on the NASDAQ. On the NASDAQ, same types of setups. They need to stay above 19783 to remain immediately bullish towards 21,005. Or 20, I'm sorry. Yeah, 21,500. Excuse me, 21,056. Then we look for a pullback, then 21,500. One more pullback, then 22,000 overall. However, if they give us a bigger pullback into that 19.2 to 19.5 area, we would look more towards the 23,000 area. Guys, that is your market update for today. I'll talk to you tomorrow.